Hi guys and welcome to TechBase. In this video, we're gonna talk about some news about the newest Windows 11 release, which will be the 22H2 version. For those of you who don't know, Microsoft announced that Windows 11 will have two big updates every year. So we're expecting at the beginning of the year until the summer to have a big update. In this new Windows 11 update, big update, we will be able to see all the changes and improvements, all the apps, all the changed apps from Windows 11 that we were able to see in the dev channel, you will see them in the stable release. Now, in the latest Windows 11 Insider preview builds for the dev channel, some developers managed to find a leaked file that shows us a brief of the release date for this new Windows 11 Insider preview build. So we have a screenshot from that file, which says basically the name of this release, which will be Nickel. You can see the source on this image. Basically, the latest Windows 11 release was called Copper, and this will be Nickel. We can see here two dates, so we can see 2022 to 4 and 2234. There were some questions about this because some people said that it could be the 4th of February and then another complete release on the 4th of March, but that isn't the case because the programming language used in this file is Java. So in Java, for those of you who don't know, months are counted from zero. So basically this is the month and this is the date. And this means that this new release, the Windows 11 22H2 version should be released on the 2nd of March, which actually makes sense because this will be on a Wednesday. So we are expecting Windows 11 22H2 Nico to be released on the 2nd of March. And I'm really looking forward to this because I know that until then we will have a few more dev channel updates and builds and maybe we can see some very, very requested features. We are starting to see them, but hopefully Microsoft introduces the most requested ones. As an example that I can give you would be the drag and drop to the taskbar because that feature is actually pretty simple to introduce because other developers have done it. And I think that for Microsoft, that wouldn't be a problem. And we're hoping to see changes like this and improvements like this in that release from March. In the article down below, you're going to have this picture with the source, of course. Please let me know down below in the comments what you think about this. And I'm looking forward to hearing more from you. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.